Hey everybody, I'm Yvonne Williams with Back to Earth Creations and I want to invite y'all to this week's shop update. We have a bunch of shiny new gemstone and fused glass cabochons and we're also introducing a size of pre-grooved um, cabs suitable for using in like a finger ring. The reason why we have these pre-grooved um, is to just on this size I have a lot of mistakes so I don't want to list them ungrooved with the grooving option and then risk um, you know somebody selecting it to have it grooved and then breaking the cab. So this way uh, I've already taken the risk and if it broke I don't list it and if it worked I do list it. So that's why those guys are already grooved. Everything else, though, if it is suitable to have a groove added to it, uh, it will have that option on our website during checkout. So I'm really excited about this new blue color. That's kind of the, the new addition of the week. We're bringing back one of our really, really deep purples. My camera has such a hard time picking up on the purples, but these guys are a very, very dark plum. And that first ring, uh, this one is Unakite, which is so beautiful. And then this one here is Hematite, which has a really great high shine on it. Really picks up on fingerprints, but it wipes off just as easy. Some more of this blue. Which is just opaque enough that, or just translucent enough rather, that you could back it with another color of like paint or something. If you wanted to add a little bit more reflective, you could back it with a chrome enamel or something like that. Or you could back it with a green or a purple or even a darker blue and get some cool effects. We have these ones here that we, we bake these or we run them through our kiln rather a couple of times to add different layers of clear to get those different cells and things so these ones are probably probably some of the most labor intensive uh, of all the cabs that we post but I absolutely love how they look and I have yet to find another way to get that effect we have some super cool dichro pieces now these are, this style of dichro is actually one of my favorites and is one of Randy's least favorites. So just goes to show you that uh, to each their own. <laughs> but I do love just the crackle effect in that. Now all of our glass that we're using here is a 96 COE. So it's perfect for use with wire wrapping, chainmail, polymer clay even. Uh, if you incorporate it with metal clay, that's where it becomes pertinent to know the COE because that's going to let you know the anneal time. And all of that information for firing schedules and stuff are down in the video description, as well as links to where you can find these on our website for sale. Now, right here, this one, uh, this is Russian Serpentine. Oh, wait, okay, it's catching the color a lot better now than what... I had such a hard time trying to get pictures of this, because it, in the pictures, my camera just kept showing it up as black, but it's got this really great speckling of a lighter green through a darker green and again that one's been pre-grooved and I love just the cloudy kind of milky of this sky blue and here we have another purple piece now and I'm only going to show two of the four trays that we're uploading actually I'm just going to kind of we've got some red jasper some more of those ones Ooh, check out this one because I don't want to keep you all here all day. I want you to get back to crafting. So that's it backlit with the dichro in it. But the dichro really shows off whenever the light's hitting the front of it. Ooh, and then we have this piece too. Some more dichro with kind of a mermaid scale effect. And then we have a little tiger's eye. Ring cap. Ooh, and then a little amethyst. Yeah, you can kind of see the purple in that one. Excuse me, my allergies have been driving me crazy today. Oof, there's another of the dichro. 
Now, also, we host a giveaway every week during our shop updates. So if you would like to participate in our giveaway, where we'll be giving, oops, we'll be giving away one of our $10 Craft Along Club kits. You know, pet hair is always free. Um, so if you'd like to participate, um, and just leave a comment on this video after the live, or not the live stream, but the premiere. And if you guys are watching this during the premiere, hey, thank you guys for joining me today. And if you're watching this in the future after the premiere, but would have liked to have been here for the premiere, be sure to sign up for our newsletter because we uh, send out an email directly to your inbox. There's another cute little amethyst. Uh, that way you don't miss a thing. And we send out notifications when we have our shop updates, when we have new tutorials, when we have live streams, all sorts of stuff. And we will be announcing last week's winner at the end of this video. So this is a second trade. I don't know. I said I was only going to show you two, two trades, but they're really pretty. <laughs> we have some juicy blues and then here we have the fiery cousin to the blues in our previous tray and I just absolutely love the depth in this one and then a really bold forest green I'm gonna kind of just oh okay now these ones they don't look like much in the pictures but when you can catch them in person this is a bit of a homemade blue goldstone, and I absolutely love the shimmer in it. It just it doesn't come up quite that well on camera, but whenever you get to see it with your eyeballs, oh my gosh. Um, everybody that has bought one of these from us in the past has commented and been like, oh my gosh, the like I can't believe how pretty it is in person. So I hope they don't disappoint. Ooh, here's another one of these dichro. And if you're on the website browsing through and you uh, see something here in the video that you don't see on the website, it's very likely that it has sold already. Um, we try to post our shop updates. Uh, if you're part of our Craft Along Club or newsletter uh, list, um, you like we post it on like Sunday to kind of give a little sneaky peeky. Now this one had a little pokey outy bit, but... It's so pretty. I did like this one's going to be a little bit of a discount than what they normally would be, but um, it was such a pretty cab otherwise. So I just wanted to point that out to y'all that this one's a bit of a dud. But look at the depth in that dichro though, and the way the background catches the light. Oh, love it. But uh, oh, and here's another one. But yes, and then we do our Monday shop update tours to kind of kind of for everybody else <laughs> who stumbles through and also this is a great opportunity for me as as you know running and owning a business to be able to look in the past and see um what we had and kind of you know just everything i really like this one too those reactions between like the turquoise and the vanilla um, are just, I love them. I never get bored of them. <clears throat> and then we've got some more of those shimmery, which these are actually a pretty good size too for a large ring. And then, ooh, this is another favorite. Really, this is the biggest fused glass that we have of the shop update. <clears throat> and now we get to check out some of the different gemstones that we've introduced to the shop this week. So let me rummage a bit. So we're introducing a new gem to the shop, and that is uh, Tiger Iron and Blue Tiger's Eye. So I guess two gems, but we're going to come through here, and of course we have a bunch of, hopefully, if I can catch the uh, color shift, Juicy Labradorites. I don't know why I like that word here lately. Juicy. Juicy. <laughs> we have some natural rose quartz. So they're quite pale, but that's because they are not color enhanced. Ooh, check out the flash in that one, y'all. And it can be difficult sometimes to catch the flash here on camera. 
especially with the way that I have my lighting set up. I'm trying to utilize natural lighting as much as possible, but it does catch a glare on the surface. We also have a bunch of amethysts in stock. And here's another labradorite. Some of the labradorites in this, um, in this shop update are not as... Like, we've got two or three that feature just a really nice, like, grayish green of a base labradorite with just minimal flashing in them. But then we have ones like this one here that are flash all the way across. So I try to be very representative of that in the pictures that we have of them up on the website. So that's the whole reason we started carrying gemstones is I was getting frustrated shopping online just by like, you know, folks would be oiling their cabs or photoshopping them or using filters or different things like that. And I'm like, can I please get an accurate representation of what I'm buying? Like, please. So here's one of our tiger iron, which is very much like tiger's eye. But you can see it has a natural hematite matrix through as well as banding of like red jasper. And then it has all those little flashes of tiger's eye. So there's that one. Oh, this is another one. I'm going to kind of just pick through and <laughs> sort out my favorites. I love this one. Like, it's almost like a tree of, it already has the tree of life growing up through the center. Almost the way that like a pine or a cypress would, with just the branches coming out. And then here is one of our blue tiger's eye. And it just, it has that, and again, the camera, there we go. Camera has such a hard time picking up on this one. But it has a little bit of that tiger's eye yellow across the side. And again, the camera's not doing a great job with it, but it does have that kind of bluish chatoyance, uh, like cat's eye effect across that part of the surface. This one might be a better example. There we go. That's a super pretty blue tiger's eye. And again, the shine on them is so high that by the time that uh, you get to where you're going to see the best flashing, the camera, the lighting from the window, uh, is glaring across its surface. Ooh, and then we've got this one here. And a lot of these in the shop update can have grooves added, but um, much of the time, if the stone itself, like this one, is a little too thin in some spots. And I don't know, I, this one definitely is too thin for us to groove. But look at how pretty of a tiger iron that is. And you can see it's actually bands of the red jasper, the hematite, in the tiger's eye. So pretty. <laughs> Ooh, and then this one. Nice, nice, nice. I love it. Ooh. And then we also have some chevron amethyst. So again, be sure to pop by the website and check it out and see what all we have because we've got a couple of really interesting uh, shapes and things over on the website as well. But uh, I wanted to congratulate this week's winner. Angie K, if you could send us an email at backtoearthcreations at yahoo.com uh, with where you would like your craft along kit uh, or cab box rather mailed to, we'll get that sent right out. And uh, good luck to everybody for in next week's giveaway. If you guys enjoy uh, our cabs and our free tutorials and different things and would like to support the channel beyond doing what you're already doing, please consider joining our craft along club for as little as a dollar a month. Uh, you can get access to our exclusive uh, Saturday streams, behind-the-scenes content, our 20% off coupon, which really I think that's a pretty great deal if, like, for a dollar you get all of that stuff plus 20% off all of your orders for the duration of your membership. So, um, well, all of your orders of eligible, eligible items. Uh, there's fine print over on the website. But if you guys have any questions or comments or ideas, please leave them down below. If you have any requests for future shop updates. Oh, uh, moon molds. We don't have any new moons this month or this week. And we don't have any molds ready this week. We are accumulating quite the backstock of dud molds because, y'all, I'm terrible at this. <laughs> I'm so bad at making molds. But I'm hoping to improve and get better 
um, is just we keep getting like bubbles in them. And I'm doing all the tricks that I see other people doing online. Like I'm pouring it from like three feet away and like trying to get all the bubbles out. But it's still, it's, I'm having a rough, diff a rough time of it. So bear with us, but stay tuned because we will have them eventually, hopefully. Um, <laughs> and until next time, you guys, happy crafting. We'll see you in our next video. Bye. <laughs>